Hello everyone, welcome back to Captain of My Shed. I'm Captain Mikey. This episode is going to be all about making this bench the best workbench in the world for me. Not exactly how I built it, but more the technique I used and the methods I used to make it. Because I'm sure there must be people out there like me who are starting out in a kind of woodworking journey, hobby, whatever you want to call it. And they would really like their own workbench, a really nice solid piece of kit that will do the job they want it to do and last a lifetime. But the budget and the tools required to make it, etc., are out of their grasp, as they are for me. Or perhaps they haven't got the space for things like a thicknesser and a jointer and all of that kind of stuff. This is going to set you back the cost of uh, a sheet of ply and a couple of sheets of MDF. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to last forever. All it's going to take is uh, either a circular saw or a table saw if you have one. I'll take you through a bit more of a close-up show of my workbench, simple as it might be, uh, at the end of the video. So if you're here for that, then go to the end. But uh, if you're here to see how it's made, enjoy. There's 37, 50, 60, nearly 100 cuts to do. So, time lapse. <laughs> Have a look, Alto. What do you think? Have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure I cut the right side of the line. Okay, 
splintering. I've had a bit from the table saw already, so. side of the line. See, does it fit our piece is the important bit. It does. It fits it pretty snug too. Yeah, make sure I get it nice and square. I know it's snug, so we're going to have to use the mallet a couple of times. Okay. Everything else from here on in will be assembly. We've got this part of the leg assembly done. And you'll see what's gluing up now is gonna tie the legs together. Whew, exciting moment. Um, <laughs> yeah. Calm down, Mike. Yeah, I find this exciting anyway. I am gonna put, try and put, this tenon into this mortise and then I'm going to glue it in place and use the wedges that I've just made uh, over there on the belt sander. First off though I'm going to uh, test fit and just hope to goodness I can get them out again. It's actually a really nice fit that. There we go. That'll go. A little bit of persuasion with a mallet. Just a nice thin layer. It's a little bit lubricated by the glue this time. Right, all glued up, here goes nothing.
I like the look of the size of it. Any cracking sounds you hear while I'm popping this uh, table on, that'll be my back. The uh, table's very well constructed. The workbench is very well constructed, but <laughs> it is heavy as. Solid. Oh yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Tea. It's the tea lady. <laughs> sitting flush I don't want it proud here so I'm gonna route out a little notch for it to go in there uh, it's in there nice and flush good I'll drill the holes now, ready for it to be bolted on, but I'm happy with that. shallow draw done. Okay I've got to make a couple of handles for the um, workbench. I want it to be fairly quick and painless. I'm going to try and do just about everything on the table saw.
Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you the, the build of the slab top. I did film it, but I've lost the film footage. I actually took advantage of the fact that I had a flood in my house. I had the, the floor up, so I had a nice flat concrete surface to work on. And I just laid, cut the MDF to size, laid it out, plenty of glue in between the layers and lots of weight on top. Clamped so that it wouldn't slip and slide with a little bit of salt in between the layers to help as well. Um, and fairly straightforward, but apologies, I couldn't show you that. This top layer is black MDF, nine mil. And then there are three layers of 18 mil MDF, just regular MDF. Let's have a quick look at this. So, like I said, it's fairly simple. You've seen it made. Uh, it is, I don't know what it weighs, but it is heavy. Obviously I've got this small vise on the end here. I made the jaws flush with this. Uh, the reason being, the reason being I wanna be able to do things like clamp flush to the face like that. So, so it's supported here. The handles don't get in the way and the legs and the side apron are all flush to one another. <clears throat> so I can clamp up one whole sheet there. The same thing if I wanna clamp something flush to that leg. I can do that and if I had a couple of dog holes and perhaps a hold or even just a clamp on the leg then I've got a really nice sturdy hold and I can work on end grain there. So this little dog it hides away in there. It's got a little finger hook, fingernail hook that I can lift it up with. So this is just an off cut from a piece of oak dowel and then it sits and now I can clamp up to that. It's not going anywhere, perfect. I intend to have a vise on this face here at some point, but for now, uh, it's a work in progress. And uh, when budget allows, basically, is how this is gonna go. That's it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching to the end. Really appreciate it, as always. I hope this has given you some ideas, some inspiration. If it has, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your projects. Uh, maybe you've made something similar in the past or maybe you've made something that blows this out of the water. But whatever it is, as long as you're making stuff and being inspired, then uh, that's the whole point, right? And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. For now, take care of yourselves. See you next time. Mm -hmm.